I'm not the only one who didn't know this. Beginning in the 1930s, hundreds of children born from white moms and black dads were tracked down by police, forcibly sterilized, and later unwillingly became the subjects of medical experiments. Others simply vanished. And in 2022, a well-known black father with four children by a white woman named Kim defends the man who secretly ordered these abuses, saying he, quote, sees good things in him. Between 1918 and 1933, after World War I and before Nazi rule, Western Germany was occupied by Victoria allied troops, which included Black soldiers from French colonies such as Senegal. Black Americans also immigrated to Germany during this time to enjoy freedoms not available to them in the States, such as freely eating at restaurants, staying in hotels, and going to the theater. Romantic relationships soon formed between Blacks and whites, but Germany wasn't having it. In an effort to throw out these relationships, they introduced racist fake news depicting Blacks as savages, murderers, and rapists who carried STDs and other communicable illnesses. The children of Black soldiers and white German women were called Rhineland bastards, and their mothers considered whores a white disgrace. As early as 1923, government authorities began registering Afro-German kids along with their photographs and measurements. In 1937, upon Hitler's orders, the Gestapo pulled Afro-German kids from school, stole them from the streets, and bundled them into vans to take them to medical facilities to be sterilized. Some 437 cases were documented, while the number of unreported cases was closer to 800. Not gonna lie, U.S. history and Nazi Germany low-key feel like we're cousins. I mean, it could just be me, but 